Here we are. Beautiful Baskatong uh, Reservoir. I've anchored, uh, if I could call it offshore, it's really shallow, but uh, quite a distance that way, probably, uh, I don't know, the chain is uh, 30 feet, so I'll say at least 50 feet or something. And I've uh, hunkered down on this uh, log and uh, took my stern anchor on uh, that side. So I will stay this way. The wind is coming to a good direction to keep me uh, pushed against the shore and I'll be just at the correct distance to get off uh, the stern. So, quickly, if you don't have a sail bag, and uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm not gonna say if you're struggling, but I was struggling with uh, my previous uh, sail bag, uh, without the lazy jack and everything else. So this is what it looks like. This is how easy it is to bring everything down and also close. I won't close it totally because uh, I have to use uh, this small halyard to put the sock on my Genoa to protect it from the sun. So I'll try to get a bit of a video of that because before I bought it, to be honest, I had no clue how something, something could go up there uh, through those lines and everything and uh, like everything else on a sailboat it's pretty ingenious so there is a block up there that I installed with uh, control with this line and I pulled the sock up but uh, there is a way to uh, go uh, through those uh, Genoa sheet there with multiple zippers so you'll see that so while I have the dinner cooking on the barbecue I'll put the sock up on the Genoa so I simply have a halyard uh, with uh, a block up in front of the mast. I get this line out of there. So during editing, I noticed that the sound quality was really bad because of the wind. So I'll do a bit of voiceover so you understand what I was saying. Uh, you have to run the halyard uh, outside of the Genoa sheet so it doesn't get tangled. And you tie it, of course, and uh, then you just have to wrap it around the, your Genoa, but above the um, the sheets for the Genoa, the Genoa sheets, and then you start zipping away, and uh, you just wrap it and zip, and then you have to go grab. If you're doing this solo, like I was, much easier two people. But uh, if you're doing it solo, you grab the halyard and you start pulling up as you hold the zipper, and uh, it's just uh, zips. Here, the wind was giving me a bit of a hard time. So I have to um, reposition it and uh, making sure it's uh, wrapped on the other side. But usually it's not uh, as difficult, uh, especially if you're doing it uh, with uh, two people. So the whole sock has uh, four zippers and between each section of uh, zippers, there's a Velcro to help keep things uh, good. And I guess take some pressure off uh, the end of the zipper. And uh, you have to do uh, three zippers above your Genoa sheet and uh, basically when you get to the last one uh, your your halyard should be uh, your sock should be all the way up thanks to the halyard so now i just need to tie the halyard up and the last one goes below the Genoa sheet that's it yeah. i'll tidy up uh, the rest of the, of the halyard after Just simply goes below the sheet. That way you could, uh, you don't have to remove the sheet and uh, you could uh, travel the order like this. That's it, the rest is pretty easy. There is a, a bit of a bolt there to tie that down. That the uh, I use uh, the, the old anchor, which I'm going to use also for a, for a bowsprit. And uh, the ingenious thing about this model. There used to be two models, one without this small string here that goes all the way up and it crisscrosses, crisscrosses. I don't know if you could see it because I'm in the sun there. Anyway, all the way up it crisscross like this. And uh, basically what you do is uh, you uh, tighten it down at the bottom. And it does this. Well, hopefully you can see that. There. It brings it in like a sausage like that because otherwise this thing will really flap like this in the wind if you have a wind and if you're anchored of course you have a 
headwind all the time. And if there's strong wind, this is gonna move the boat all night and wake you up. So it's, it's uh, tightening it like that. And uh, like I said, a bit like a sausage. And this avoids the sway back and forth on your rigging. And uh, I added, I added this little thing here, just to make it easier to, to bring down. So give it a bit of a pull up above, and I get the rest of it like this, and I just do it out on top. There you go. So if you're at anchor and you can't sleep because of your head stay, it's because it's not tied like a sausage like this. And if you leave it at the uh, arena and you're not there, it's noisy for the neighbors anyway. So there you go. So now that the sock is up, and my Genoa's protected. I could uh, finish uh, tying up here. I put the halyard for the gen for the uh, the sock here. Just Velcro this around, and uh, that's it. And these are my lines to uh, with with a, a small block at top to release tension on on the lazy jack. And I just installed these uh, small uh, cam cleat there. I think that's what it called. That's it guys, I'm going to have dinner. <laughs>